it uh, was a hefty shoulder on Adrian Fenner when he came out to Tony Griffin took his point well. With the short break, tries to put this one over the bar and succeeds. It's his third Hello and welcome to Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Tony Griffin. Everyone is touched by cancer. Every family has lost someone due to cancer. I myself have lost my father, uncle and aunt to cancer. Well, in May of this year, May 15th, until July 1st, I'm going to bike across Canada, 6,650 kilometers, and then bike across Ireland. The cause being to raise funds for the Lance Armstrong Foundation and the Irish Cancer Society, so that together these groups can eradicate cancer once and for all. All of us have lost someone to cancer. And this is going to be to help that cause. So, all, so to all those in Ireland watching this, this is what Nova Scotia is like in the middle of January. Not as nice as the West of Clare or Galway or even beautiful Dublin. But for me, it's been home for the last two and a half years. So I hope you log on and follow the journey across Canada. And I thank you for your support. All right. Any, you, any of the girls out there, you're more than welcome to come along. <laughs> well, the one thing that we really have to, in a way, convert you from is from being able to go at very high intensity, very high uh, endurance that's based geared around a 70 minute hurling match to being able to comfortably be on the bike for five to six hours or so every day, day after day after day. I think most hurlers don't really appreciate the importance of not just being able to go hard for 90 minutes, but that foundation is really built on a high level of base endurance of, again, the cardiovascular capacity, the adaptations, the, the uh, metabolic adaptations so that you can work hard for that two hours the broader of a base that you have from an endurance standpoint of a very relatively again light intensity low level endurance that's going to really allow you to peak for a, a higher build you can look at it as a pyramid if you have a very broad broad solid foundation then you can build to a much higher peak than if you had a very narrow endurance or if you try to go to a kind of a high effort right away we're also going to mix in, given the climate here in eastern Canada at this time of year, it's simply not conducive to riding and training for four or five hours out on the road on a bike day after day. And uh, so we are going to be mixing in running too, just to keep that neuromuscular uh, memory and adaptation. And uh, that also allows you to just go, whether it's for a good long, long, fast hike or or a light run for, again, the, the three or four hours. Again, relatively low intensity, but it's just to be out there and get ready to be from a mental